Hello everyone, my name is So Mungry, and I'd like to welcome you back to more Adventure Time! In this episode, we are looking for a hairy beast. No joke. We're really looking for a hairy beast. So, let's walk down this path. I'm not sure why we're looking for that beast, but we are. He did something. I suppose we can talk to the tree stump here. I'm sorry we upset you, tree stump. Here, have some of Tree Trunk's pie. That always cheers me up. Oh, hey, hey. This is delicious. What's in this? It's apple pie, so apples, I guess? What? Apple. Apples? I was an apple tree. You made me a cannibal. <laughs> Did she just puke up a hammer? Gross. Yeah. But look at the bright side. We got a free hammer. Oh, yeah, free hammer. Bleh. That hammer's covered in tree barf. Gross, dude. <laughs> and you're a cannibal. You're a filthy cannibal. I've got nothing to say to you. Alright, fine. Be that way. So, let's go left here and see if we can make a bridge. Maybe we can wipe off the hammer with the towel. That combination definitely doesn't work. Alright, fine, 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 fine. That combination definitely ain't working. Oh, that's not working. Force Wizard said the hairy beast is on the other side. But we wrecked the bridge! I don't think we're going to be able to fix the rope bridge. Why not? We have wood. That wood will make a good bridge. Eventually. Okay. Maybe we can use a hammer on the wood? Sweet! Brand new bridge! Oh yeah! Real nice. So that was easy. So now it's time to take down the hairy beast. Whoa. Looks like a bunch of ice. Is Ice King here? He seems to be everywhere. There's a lot of stuff here we can mess with. Let's touch the fire. Oh. It's dangerous to leave a campfire unattended. Yo! Hot! <laughs> Let's check out the bike. Oh. The handlebars of that scooter are pretty loose. Can't quite get the handlebars loose. Bet you can use those handlebars for picking up all sorts of things. Perhaps. Oh, we got him. We use the hammer on it. Check out the well. It's a well. Like the one we had back at the treehouse. Should we throw Jake down? I don't think so. Okay. There's a can here. Aw, oh, the bean can's empty. I could have gone for some beans right about now. Yes, yes, a magical fruit. A wall of ice! Whatever that hairy beast is, it must have walled itself up in this tree. Sounds sad. I don't care. It has to be stopped. We need to find a way to melt through this ice. Alright, no problem, no problem. Number one, babe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Snail. Oh, it's a snail. Actually, Brushed Island, who is a subscriber of mine, said that that snail is pure evil. So let me know if that's true. Alright, what else can we touch? We can touch the well, the fire, and the ice. Wonder if somebody was planning to cook something. Let's put the can on there. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, I thought we could maybe heat it up. That ain't working, dude. No, that is not working. Why would I do that? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Why would you do that? That's a good question. It's a well. Like the one we had back at the treehouse. The best way to get through this ice is to melt it. But how? That's way too thick to dig through with your hands. Yeah, 
Okay. So, maybe we can combine the handlebars with the can, and then maybe drop it down the well? Nope. Those things don't combine. Boiling water. Okay. How about this and the towel? Those things can't be combined. All right, how about that and Jake? Those things don't work together. All right, maybe we can just drop the can down the well. <laughs> Where there's a well, there's a way to get water. Nice. I didn't know the water was so high in the well. This guy's really eating a lot of apples and pizza. <laughs> Oh, good thinking. Except we can't pick up a boiling can of water. It's all right. We have the handlebars for that. You can't pick up the can with the handlebars. You need to find another way to get the water to the ice. All right. What about you with the handlebars? Dude, those things totally don't go together. What about the damn towel and the handlebars? I can't combine those. What about just the damp towel, then? We can put the hot towel on the ice to melt it if we can get it out of the can. Okay. Cool! Or hot, actually. Uh, you got the towel out of the water. Drop it on the ice! Nice! Uh, oh. Let's do that. Let's see what this guy's moping about. Ice King? You're the hairy beast that's been messing with people? We're gonna take you down, man! <sighs> I'll just sit here and be miserable while you do whatever it is you have to do. Finn, hold off. I think something's going on here. Yeah! Awesome! It's always Ice King, I tell you. Always. Man, he's really hurting. We should find out what's going on. Ice King, we need to ask you some questions. Go ahead. Ask anything you want. I got nothing but time. People have been talking about a hairy beast that's terrorizing them lately. Is that you? Well, I guess I am a little hairy, but I've been thinking of getting a body wax. Ew! Just tell us why you've been stealing stuff and messing with people. I was hungry. And lonely. So very lonely. Ah. Uh... This place is seriously nasty, dude. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? I'm a hobo now. What happened to his kingdom? What are you doing living in the woods? Well, I was away from the Ice Kingdom for a while on a book tour. Somebody invited me to do a reading of my entire Fiona and Cake series. Can you believe it? No. Oh. Well, anyway, the nice lady that called me to arrange the tour uh, didn't meet me. After a couple of days, I went back to the Ice Kingdom and found out I'd been kicked out. Kicked out? Why? Somebody anonymously tipped off Pillow Mint Butler that I left my kingdom abandoned, so a new leader had to be appointed in my place. Pillow Mint Butler, the guy who helped select Nightmare Princess to rule the Nightmare Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. Anyway, he said he's in the process of installing a princess to take over the Ice Kingdom. He picked Lumpy Space Princess. She was the only one available on short notice. LSP in charge of a kingdom sounds like a bad idea. She'd be even worse than you are at ruling a kingdom. Uh, thanks, I guess? Maybe we can fix this. What can we do to help? Oh, thanks, bro. But I don't know if there's anything you could... Hey, wait. You might not be able to get my kingdom back, but you can help. This is a chance for us to live together at the treehouse again. Three bros living together, having fun. The three Omega bros. What do you say? No, 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 no. We'll get your kingdom back. Finn and Jake Investigations is on the case. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just ice myself back in my tree cave and wait for you guys to do your thing. Alone. Cold. Hairy. Ugh. All right, Ice King. You can stay with us, just until we sort this out and get your kingdom back. Really? Great! Just let me collect my stuff. 
Um, I think you can leave it. We got plenty of garbage at home. Whatevs, this'll be so much fun. Dibs on Finn's bed. I regret this already. Oh my gosh. The regret is real. So we have to dethrone Lumpy Ice Princess. I'm so glad you let me stay here. I never told you when I was staying here before, but I really envy you guys. Um, sure. No problem, Ice King. We... But there's always room for improvement. Ice King, if you want to get your kingdom back, you have to let me and Jake go and investigate what's happening. Yeah, sure. Don't let me keep you. You do what you gotta do. Great. We'll just be going now. Just as soon as we get things ironed out here on the home front, when you're ready, let me know. I've got a detailed list. Finn, he's never gonna let us leave. I know, man. We gotta think of something. Guess we should start by finding out what he wants. Oh, good. You guys are ready to get started. Here's my list. Oh, wow. He wants a whole bunch of stuff. A sandwich? Well, that doesn't seem so tough. But it's gotta be a good sandwich with lots of meat and cheese and mustard. Oh, and olives. The green kind, not the black kind. Black kind of nasty. Okay. But we're kind of low on groceries. If you want, Jake and me can go to the grocery kingdom and... Oh, that's okay. I don't want to make you run out on my account. We can get back to the sandwich later. A jar of Prismo's pickles? Sorry, man. We ate the last one of those a while ago. Then why is there a full jar under Jake's pillow? Jake! You've been bogarting a jar of Prismo pickles? That's low, bro. Um, maybe we should circle back to the pickle thing later. Your own guest suite? What the? Dude, we don't have a guest suite. Way ahead of you. I've already called the contractors. They start the build out next week. Uh, meanwhile, I'll just crash on your bed. My bed? Where am I supposed to sleep? Well, this place is lousy with sofas. You can pick whichever one you want. I'm easy. Gee, thanks. An invitation to movie night? Huh, that seems reasonable. Great, I get first pick. Basic Mortality, season two. It's 22 episodes, so you better have plenty of popcorn. That's cool, I haven't seen that season yet. Oh, it's great. The lady detective dies in episode 15. It's really sad. I cried and cried. Oops, spoiler alert. <laughs> Sigh. Let's see if there's anything else. A princess? Ice King, we are not going to help you kidnap princesses. Yeah, I thought that might be a sticking point. But I'm so lonely. How about a play date like last time? I don't know. Abraka Daniel's been through a lot lately. Probably pretty tired. Oh, not him. He's a donkus anyway. I miss Gunter. Can you invite Gunter to come over? If I had Gunter to keep me company, all the other stuff on the list could wait. Really? Well, I guess we can give him a call. Finn, Gunter will wreck the place. He breaks bottles. About half our coolest stuff is in bottles. Don't worry. We don't have to really invite Gunter over. We just need to fool Ice King into thinking Gunter is here. We can come up with something. We're on it, Ice King. One play date with Gunter coming up. Ice King's got some crazy fetishes. Princesses, penguins, <laughs> sandwiches. Just laying around, do do de do. Okay, so we have to dress up Jake as a penguin. Shouldn't be too bad. No Wonder I by Lake. That's Bimo's favorite song. I bet that'll cheer him up. Maybe we can dress Bimo up as Gunter. Well, oh, there's a lot to press in here. I can't sleep in Jake's bed. I wouldn't fit. Every creature terrorizing people in the forest. In Stodgy's opinion, this is just to distract us from. Okay. I think Dad would be proud of us, Jake. I think so, too. Oh, man, we're in this predicament here. Move, Jake. Okay. All right, we got to go grab the record player and then go to BMO. 
Gunter would love it here. Looks like Bemo's trying to build a new record player. Can we help him build that somehow? Sure beats kicking it in the woods. Youch! I have to stop touching hot stuff. Alright, is there anything in here that we need? What is up here? Ninja stars! Ow. Pointy. More junk. We've got lots of junk. Alright, nothing in here. Well, what's this? Why do we have paintbrushes? We hardly ever paint. Nice, we're gonna need that. We can paint BMO. We just need some black and white paint now. <laughs> yeah, huh? Let's go in here first. This is just the balcony, I think. Here's the paint. White paint. Perfect. Let's check out the kingdom. Staring at the Ice Kingdom ain't helping us to get the Ice King back there. True. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go down. I think Bimo's over here. Glue. That'll come in handy if we have to glue stuff. Okay, we got the glue. Nothing like fresh ground coffee, huh, Jake? I'm not gonna use that coffee. That was wasteful. Huh? Cheese. Yeah, the cheese. Yuck! How long has it been since we cleaned that stove? That's a really good place to keep our bubble collection. Bimo was here last time. Now he's not here. Is he in the bathroom? Sink. Maybe I'll take a bath later. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I don't gotta go. Oh, it's brown. Gotta flush it down. Alright, where is Bemo at? We got the brush, we got the paint. We just need Bemo. Oh, here he is. Hey, I'm thinking Bemo might be able to help us fool Ice King. Hey, Bemo, you want Ice King out of here, right? Of course. Ice King smells funny, and he calls Bemo Nepter. Yeah. Well, me and Jake have to find a way to get Ice King his kingdom back, but he won't let us leave. We need your help. Yay! Bima loves to help. How do you feel about costumes? Bima loves wearing costumes. Do you like penguins? Yes, penguins are very cute and they waddle when they walk, like Bima. You like to play, right? Of course! Bima is a game machine! In a very literal sense. <laughs> Great! Here's the deal. We want you to dress up like Gunther and go on a play date with Ice King. It's only for a few hours, so me and Finn can go out and find a way to get Ice King out of our house for good. I see. No. Aw, come on, Bimo! Take one for the team! No! You and Jake left me out of your detective agency, and you brought a smelly Dunkus to live in our home. Bimo is a cranky. Maybe if Bimo was in a better mood, Bimo would help. <sighs> All right, we get it. Come on, Jake. Let's see if we can find something to cheer up Bimo so he'll help us. How about the tape? We got the tape. Hey, Bimo! I think we found something that will cheer you up. No and I! That's Bimo's favorite. Put it in. Dance, dance, dance! Um, I don't hear anything. And I got dog ears. I can hear real good. Bimo is using internal earphones. Okay, Finn. Bimo is in a good mood now. I will dress as a penguin and play with the smelly ice king. You're the best, Bimo! We'll get started when we have all the stuff for the costume. Yeah, let's see. We're gonna need a couple of brushes, some black and white paint, something to make a beak. Oh, and some fake eyes. Gunther's got those big old bug eyes. All right, we almost have everything. 
We'll combine these two. Ready to paint something white. Okay. We have the glue. And we have the gem. You have got some painting skills. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Alright, so now we just need black paint. Oh, we need a beak too. And some eyes. Okay. Anything down here? Loot! Just our loot. This is just our loot too. Loot! I think there's a skull on top of the well out here that has a beak. Oh, here's the paint. Jake sure did love that burrito. Yes, he did. There's a skull. Don't use this much, but with having plumbing and all. Hmm. Can't press anything here. Come on. Come on. Yurt. That's fun to say. Yurt. The old yurt. Can't do anything to get that down. Is there anything over here? We have a great view of the pond and stuff. Guess the water nymphs are sleeping. We have a great view of the pond and stuff. Guess the water nymphs are sleeping. Nothing. There is nothing there. All right, I guess we can paint him black. Ready to paint something black. All right, so let's paint him and then let's see what we can find. Guessing it is elsewhere around the tree house. Don't forget under his arms. Perfect, he looks good. That's not quite right. I'm leaving something out. All right, we need glue. Maybe the glue on the gem. What were you thinking trying to combine those? All right, we're gonna have to find something else. That's just that there. We go back here. Could be in here. Yikes! Yikes, okay. Oh, this is new. It's one of your Card Wars cards. And it's a lovely shade of penguin beak gold. Perfect. Most people don't realize that skulls make such good candle holders. Alright, we turn that off. Hmm, sturdy. Armor, very... I guess let's check out our sword since we're in here. We got the new lightning sword. It's way over here. The lightning sword. This one's super cool. The lightning sword blasts the bad guys with lightning when it's powered up. It's way cool. Yeah, it is cool. It's probably my favorite. I guess we'll leave that off for now. I don't remember how I got that. Must be in my vault. Hmm, nothing else in here. We can glue on the beak though. Now that it's rolled and glued, the card looks kind of like a little party hat or a beak. Perfect. That looks just like a tiny beak. Perfect. Queen, don't you have better things to do? I will wait here patiently while you make Bimo look like a penguin. All right, we need something for the eyes. Did we go in here already? Yeah, we did. There's nothing in here for the eyes. Nothing out there. I can't believe Ice King left any food. Meat man, meatballs. They're the best. Kinda look like eyes when they're old like those are. Perfect. Old meatballs. Like dead brown eyes. Nice. Three of them. Voila! Two penguin peepers. Hey, Ice King! Look who came over for a play date! 
Wink. Gunter, Daddy's missed you so much. Oh, sweetie, we are gonna have so much fun. There's so much to do here. I bet these guys must have, like, a thousand bottles. Yay! I mean, wank. All right! Now we can get out of here and start investigating. We gotta get Ice King back to his kingdom ASAP. Nice. We did it. That one was pretty easy. So on to dethrone the Rumpy Ice Princess. I'm sorry, Finn and Jake. The law is very clear in situations like these. But somebody tricked Ice King into leaving. A tour to promote his Fiona and Cake books? No way that's legit. Seriously, have you read those things? Hey, those books are great. Quit trying to mess things up and wreck me getting my own kingdom. Princess, come on. You know this is a bad idea. I don't know, Finn. I mean, when it comes to picking a responsible ruler for a kingdom, LSP certainly wouldn't be my first choice. Maybe not even one of my top 10. Or 50. Hey! No offense, but I'd be lying if I said it wouldn't be better to have somebody less, well, creepy and kidnappy ruling the Ice Kingdom. You hear that? I'm not creepy! We don't want Ice King as a permanent house guest. Isn't there anything we can do? I'm afraid not. Pending the results of the three honorable deeds, the coronation will proceed as planned. Three honorable what now? I can explain in detail if you'd like to discuss it. But the deeds are a mere formality. Nobody has ever failed to complete them properly. I'm sorry, but the law is the law. Stupid law! Gentlemen, I am quite busy. But I shall help if I can. You said something about three noble deeds. What's up with that? When a princess is to be installed in an expedited manner, as is the case here, she must first prove her worthiness. She does so by completing three tasks that a princess might be expected to perform in the course of her duties. What's the scoop on these deeds? What does a princess-to-be have to do? All princesses must perform the same basic deeds. Throw a lovely party, help a lovelorn couple find happiness, and do a favor for a friend in need. All basic skills that any princess must be able to accomplish. When does LSP have to do her noble deeds? Oh, she has already completed them. I simply haven't had enough time to evaluate them yet. So much to do, you know. What kind of party did LSP have to throw? There is a young marshmallow child who is having a birthday today. Lumpy Space Princess's task was simply to provide a cake that would make the child's party a memorable one. Helping a lovelorn couple? What's that all about? Many people need a bit of a push to take that first step and become a couple. In this case, I tasked LSP with delivering an invitation to the coronation from Dr. Donut to Nurse Pound Cake. So, like matchmaking, huh? Um, totally unrelated, but have you ever met Flame Princess? Finn, focus! We'll talk later. LSP isn't usually the doing favors for friends type. What did you ask her to do? A visiting dignitary from the Fire Kingdom. A Mr. Cinnamon Bun is in the Candy Kingdom for the big event. He needed someone to walk his pet firewolf while he got ready for the coronation. LSP was to provide that service. So what happens if LSP donked up her noble deeds? Does that mean she doesn't get the job? Oh my, yes. If she, as you say, donked up any of the three noble deeds, or were to show incompetence, she would be removed from consideration. Would it be okay if me and Jake check up on things? Talk to the people LSB did stuff for and see how she did? That would, in fact, be a great help to me. I have so much to do in preparation for the coronation. Should you and your stretchy dog friend find that lumpy space princess has performed inadequately, please bring it to my attention. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Pillman Butler. We should track down that marshmallow kid, Nurse Poundcake and Cinnamon Bun right away and see how LSP did. Yeah, no way she did all this stuff right. Ice King will be out of our house and back in charge of the Ice Kingdom in no time. All right, next time we are going to sabotage LSP from getting her own kingdom so that Ice King will get out of our treehouse. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. 
Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments your favorite part. Share the video and subscribe for more. Have a good day, guys.